Hey, it's Jeremy here. I want to show you a few sites that you can use to do a design brief or a creative brief so you can build your portfolio. And it's so crucial, like to be honest, if you don't have a portfolio, then how can you get work? How can you get hired for a job? Like it's crucial to have a portfolio. So a lot of people struggle to come up with an ID and a lot of people find it easier to have a framework or a structure or a, or a place where they can actually have a brief and practice. So one site is um, briefbox.me. You can check it out. They have some free briefs. If you sign up, you get six free briefs um, that you can use. The pricing for that is if you upgrade is like 10 bucks a month and you get like all these pro briefs and you can see um, heaps of different submissions and it has everything laid out for you. So it makes it really easy to do a concept project. And another site is called fakeclients.com. That one gives you, if you click a button, um, if logo design, illustration, web design, whatever category you select and you click go, it'll give you a short little um, description of the the name and the project. With this one, it's not that extensive compared to Briefbox. Briefbox, the free briefs actually give a lot of information, but this one, it's very short. But then if you upgrade, it's like $3 a month and you get these longer briefs that are generated by bots um, and AI. So that's kind of interesting. So those are two sites that I recommend that you could use. There's another site called Holobrief, but that's more of a collaborative tool on actually creating a brief instead of them generating an idea or a brief for you. So that's the difference. But those sites are very interesting. You, could, should, um, you should check them out. But an alternative is actually creating your own brief. And I'm gonna give you four tips on how to actually, you know, the four key factors you should have in, in a brief if you're gonna start one. The number one is um, the description of the company. So you wanna know the company name, you know, what they do, what services or products they provide, the general um, essence of the brands, um, where they're located, all that stuff. And if you have that basic knowledge, it doesn't have to be really extensive, but just write, you want to write short paragraphs for each of these main points, you know, maybe four lines. So you keep it short and don't overwhelm yourself um, because, you know, I'm sure you want to get stuck into the design. You don't want to focus too much on writing the brief, but it actually will develop your writing skills as well if you practice this. Number two is the problem. So what's the company's problem? For example, it could be that they're going into a new market and their branding or logo identity needs to reflect that new market. Or maybe they're having a change of company structure. Maybe they're downsizing. So they don't want to look like a big agency or a big company. Maybe they want to look like a more boutique um, company. So they need a, a new branding. So think of the problem. What problem are you solving? Maybe it's a you're doing like a website design brief and maybe they're not converting enough customers. So that's one of the problems. So like how can you create a design that's going to convert more people to buy their products? So those are just a couple examples of a problem. So make sure you always have a problem because then you're just doing design and you know you won't incorporate a little bit of strategy. So it's very important. Number three is the, is the deliverables. What are you delivering on? Is it just a logo? Is it banners? Is it a flyer? Is it a brochure? Is it a whole identity system with a logo and the guidelines and some social media graphics? Like what deliverables are you doing? If it's a fake project, you don't want to spend too much time on it. You want to like, uh, you know, keep it simple and succinct so you can just jump right into it and get it done. And I wouldn't put too many deliverables. If it's a logo design, I would probably just make it um, like a, a mini logo design system and have different marks, like a primary mark, a, a badge, a secondary mark, um, and all the colors and the typography and stuff. That's what I would do if I was doing a, a short brief. And, but yeah. Number four is the timeline or deadlines. So you wanna try and limit yourself. You know, I would probably give myself maybe a week. Um, I've done it challenges before where I've done like one day. <laughs> That's really challenging, but if you get it done, you feel so proud of yourself. Um, and then what I do later on, I go back and edit some of the mock-ups and images so I can put it on my portfolio later on. But yeah, you wanna give yourself a certain time period. It could be a couple of days, a week, two weeks, a month, whatever. Depends on the how big you did your brief, but you know, once again, keep it simple. But yeah, you wanna have a clear timeline and a deadline where you're gonna finish the project and that's it. Because if you drag it on too long, then you're just gonna get bored of it and you're not gonna finish it. So it's better to finish something that's not perfect, but you're completing something, it's way better. So yeah, those are four things you can do to write a brief. I might do another video on creating your own brief and doing an example. If you, if you think that would be cool, just leave a comment below and probably work on that. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hope, hopefully this was helpful. Leave a comment, 
hit the subscribe button and share this video if you think this is helpful. I look forward to doing more videos for you guys. So remember to always create something awesome and have a good day. Catch you next time.